friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's a Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes, fresh, whole ingredient, healthy recipes packed with protein. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos every single week. I will link my recipe website at the top of the description box. That is where you will find today's recipe as well as all of my recipes. Nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I've lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into my kitchen for this week's meal prep. For breakfast this morning, I am making a pepperoni pizza frittata. I'm actually really excited about this. I love pizza any time of the day. So let me show you what is in the recipe. So first you're going to need milk of your choice, tomato sauce, eggs, salt and pepper, fresh basil, a bell pepper, you can use any color bell pepper, Italian seasoning and pepperoni. I'm gonna do a mix of turkey pepperoni and then mini pepperoni. I love the little mini, so I'm gonna mix those in with the turkey pepperoni. So the first thing we're going to do is crack eight eggs into a bowl. And then a quarter cup of milk and then whisk that together. We're going to add in some salt and pepper. And then a few tablespoons of tomato sauce, maybe three or four, and our Italian seasoning, and then give that one more whisk together. I have a skillet sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I did dice up half of that bell pepper. We're going to allow that to saute down for just a few minutes. Then we're going to add in our egg mixture and we're gonna reduce the heat so this can cook slowly. We wanna keep it in a circle shape like a frittata. So I went ahead and lowered the heat. You are gonna take your spatula and kind of pull it away from the edges a little bit, but at the same time, we wanna allow it to cook completely through. So my recommendation would be to put a lid on it so that it has a chance to cook through the middle. So the frittata is done. It was able to cook all through the middle, which is exactly what we were after. I'm going to add a little bit more tomato sauce to the top and then just brush that on. I also decided that I want to add a little bit of cheese along with my pepperoni to really give it that whole pizza vibe. So I'm going to spread out just a little more tomato sauce. I am going to go ahead and turn the heat off. I have my turkey pepperoni. I'm going to put about 10 slices or so on the frittata. Okay, so I did 12 slices of turkey pepperoni. And then I have my mini pepperonis as well. And I'm just going to add a few of those on top. And then I have my Tillamook shreds and I'm going to sprinkle about a quarter cup of that on top as well. Now the cheese is optional. You could skip the cheese. You could use a low fat cheese if you want to. But again, I'm really trying to give it the true pizza vibe. And then lastly, I tore some fresh basil and I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. And I think I'm gonna just stick the lid back on for a couple minutes to melt the cheese. So here is the frittata. Now what the recipe suggests is putting it under your broiler for a few minutes to get it nice and crispy. It makes four servings. So what I'm going to do is when I cut my fourth of this, my one serving, I'm going to put that in the broiler the day that I eat it so it stays nice and crispy. I mean, you really could eat it just like this. It looks absolutely incredible. It smells incredible. I'll go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, and macros here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I'm making a blueberry basil chicken salad lettuce wrap. So basically we're making a cool chicken salad that we're going to stuff into lettuce leaves. I'm also very excited for this recipe. It sounds amazing. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need a 0% plain Greek yogurt, fresh blueberries, sliced almonds, fresh basil, salt and pepper, celery, 
chicken. You can cook it yourself, but you need shredded chicken. I just bought mine from Sprouts. Lettuce leaves that are perfect to make little boats with. So I like these little sweet gem lettuces. They're perfect for wraps. And then you're going to need some green onions. So to get started on the chicken salad, we're going to add one half of a cup of yogurt, about a quarter cup of fresh diced up basil, and some salt and pepper, and then mix that together. You want about three cups of diced cooked chicken. So I just diced up that entire pack of shredded chicken that I had from Sprouts. We're gonna add in a cup of fresh blueberries. And then I have some diced up celery and my diced up green onion. Add all that to your bowl and then stir to combine. So here is what the blueberry chicken salad looks like. And then I just have my lettuce leaves. So when I'm ready to eat lunch, I'll go ahead and just stuff the chicken salad mixture into a lettuce leaf. I forgot to mention, once you put the chicken salad on the lettuce leaf, go ahead and sprinkle it with some sliced almonds for that little bit of crunch a good healthy fat and a little bit more protein. This whole pet bowl only makes four servings. For me, it'll probably end up being more. It says two to three lettuce leaves per serving. So however much you can stuff into these. So my plan is, is when I go to eat the chicken salad, stuff the lettuce leaf then so that it stays nice and crispy. So I'm just going to package up the leaves in a Ziploc bag. Go ahead and pop this into a storage container with a lid and throw it into the refrigerator. But that is going to be lunch for the week. For snack this week, I'm making a no-bake workout bar. So this would be great pre-workout, post-workout, or really just for a healthy snack. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need some rolled oats, light coconut milk, no sugar added chocolate chips. This is a mix of Lily's, Lakanto, a lot of just different no sugar added chocolate chips. I just keep them in a big storage container. You'll need some peanut butter, chia seeds, protein powder. I'm gonna be using the Motivate Vanilla. This is so good for recipes, for baking or for these types of no-bake recipes. The vanilla in here is so good and this is super affordable. You're gonna get 100 calories and 20 grams of protein, less than one carbohydrate. Motivate actually has chocolate and vanilla. So I opted for vanilla for this recipe. I do have a 20% off discount for Motivate. I'll link it down below for you. Highly recommend their protein powder. I have some just different colored raisins here. I prefer these more natural colored raisins than the dark ones. I actually bought these in the bulk bin at Sprouts. And then you'll need some honey. I did get a couple questions about where I got this honey in my last video. I actually got this in Hawaii. So this is from Kona, Hawaii. I've just had it for a while and I decided I ran out of honey. So I've been using that. It is honestly really, really good honey. So let's get started on a snack. So the first thing we're going to do for the bars is in a blender food processor, we're going to add two cups of rolled oats, pulse it into a flour. You could also use oat flour if you have that on hand. I do not have that. So I'm basically creating my own oat flour. I think I told you guys it was two cups of oats. It was actually one and a half cups of oats made into flour. Reserve the other half of a cup as whole oats to mix in with the oat flour. We're adding half of a cup of our Motivate Vanilla Protein Powder, 200 Lily's Chocolate Chips, half of a cup of chia seeds, half of a cup of raisins, half of a cup of peanut butter, half of a cup of our light coconut milk, you can also add more milk as needed for the right consistency. And then a quarter cup of the honey. Stir all of that together. And again, to get that right consistency, if you need, you can add a little bit more of your coconut milk. But this is as healthy as healthy can get for a bar. Sometimes it's better for us to make our own bars at home rather than buy the ones at the store just because they're heavily processed and we can still get in protein, but we also can make it with really whole, clean ingredients. And again, just control everything going into our bar. Then we're going to add our mixture to a pan. You can do six by six, eight by eight, nine by nine, doesn't really matter. Go ahead and add in your bar mixture. And then I'm just going to use my hand to press it into place. And there are the bars. These look so good. I did taste a little bit of the mixture. 
amazing, very peanut buttery with that chocolate and the chia seeds, really, really, really good. Cover this with some saran wrap, throw it in the fridge, let it harden, and then we're going to actually cut it into 12 bars. The recipe makes 12 servings. I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget you will find all the recipes on my recipe website, which is linked at the top of the description box. You'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. We would love to have you, so come and join us. Happy Monday, friends. I hope you have an amazing week, and I'll see you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Bye.